I'm sure we'll talk about it later, but things like AI is a complete game changer. And at the beginning stages of all of this, things like automation and the internet became game changers. And so unless you understand how technology is going to impact different industries, and it's very transformative in many industries around the world, it's hard to make an investment at any price and know whether or not you're making a smart bet or, or not a smart bet. Uh, so that's just one example, but regulatory issues are another example, but there are all different kinds of things that are impacting how industries behave and how they change. And I would argue that the half-life of uh, business stability is dec declining dramatically, um, <clears throat> declining dramatically over time. It's going to continue to decline dramatically over time. And so paying more attention to the external world is important for those reasons. It's also important because the pricing of this industry has changed a lot over the last 30 years. When I started in the private equity world, if you looked at a buyout, the typical price would be something like five or six times EBITDA or, or cash flow. Uh, now it's twice that, uh, or sometimes more than twice that in different industries. So the margin for error in buying well has gone virtually to zero. Uh, so you're paying double what you paid 20, 20 or 30 years ago, and therefore you've got to make sure that this asset really performs to generate those returns. You're also actually doing that in a much more competitive world than 25 or 30 years ago. When the industry started, two of the most important differentiating tools that a deal maker had was his Rolodex, if we can use that word for people to understand it back when Rolodexes really existed, because you sourced a lot of your deals in a proprietary fashion. That means you went into your Rolodex and you knew people who knew people who might be selling a business and you called up the person who owned the business and you negotiated a deal one-on-one -on -one, proprietary. Um, now, 90 plus percent of all the deals you'll see out there are intermediated by a bank or someone like that who wants to get maximum price for the seller. And so they invite all potential interested buyers and the prices are much, much higher because it's a much more competitive marketplace than it was 25 or 30 years ago.